Today, I wanna to show you some really good groceries. I know a lot of people out there has got brand new Blackstone griddles, and a lot of people, the first thing they wanna do is, they wanna do that hibachi grill kind of stuff, uh, teppanyaki style. You got the steak and the chicken, the vegetables and the fried rice. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to do hibachi, teppanyaki, style dinner, just like the Japanese steakhouse, even gonna do the yum yum sauce. At the end of this, you're gonna say, I'm never going back to the Japanese steakhouse again. I'm staying at the house. First things first, we need to prep our rice, okay, y'all? So this is how I do it. First thing I wanna do is take our rice. Come here. Just kinda wash it. And we're gonna take a little bit of this uh, Dawn dishwasher uh, right here, and this, uh, no, nah, not really, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> so you just want this water to start running clean. You kinda, it's kinda cloudy right here. I'm not too much of a stickler. I'll probably do this, uh, I don't know, about a minute or so, just to, Get some of it off. Two and a half quart saucepan. This is like my rice pan here, that's what I like. And a lot of people ask too about water to rice. I like to do about a little, about two and a quarter. So just a hair over one to one. One cup of rice, one cup of uh, water and I do just a smidge over, not much more. And you can also, what they call a knuckle test. See that comes up to about the, right there, my first knuckle right there. And that's a good indicator too. So stove, what I like to do is, I like to bring it up to a boil. So I put it up on about a seven or so. All right. I do like to flavor my rice with a little bit of this uh, Nor, this is chicken powder. I call it chicken powder all the, all the time. Chicken flavor bouillon. Uh, you can get this at most of your supermarkets. Uh, it's also in my Amazon link if you're interested. So I just come in here and it just gives the rice a little bit of extra something. Okay, so it's been, I don't know, a couple minutes. Again, I don't like to start this on on high because I don't want it to just be a rolling bowl. Um, I wanted to come up to kind of like a soft bowl so I know everything's kind of at the same temperature. Put the lid on. And then I put it on my right there under that two, if you can see it or not. Now, it'll be different for your oven. It works for me. Um, maybe you can kind of use it as a basis. I'm going to I'm going to start my little time stick here. 15. And... 15 minutes, I'll see you back. All right, so what I do now, let's go over here, cut it off. I slide her back there and just let it set till it kind of, it's cool. And I'll transfer that to, a, to like a baking sheet and then uh, I'll put that in the refrigerator. All right, after we've got that rice prepared, you really want to do it well ahead of time, right? Another thing you want to do ahead of time is the yum yum sauce. So the yum yum sauce I made here today is, I take one cup of mayonnaise, one tablespoon of ketchup, one tablespoon of mirin, it's like a sweet cooking wine, two teaspoons of rice wine vinegar, quarter teaspoon of paprika, three quarters teaspoon of garlic powder, three quarter teaspoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of sugar. And I took about a quarter cup of water and just to kind of thin it out. And then at the end, I hit it with one tablespoon of butter. Mix that all well, give it a taste, put it in a container and let that sit for at least like two hours. When you put that on your hibachi, your teppanyaki, you're gonna say, mm, mm, yum, yum, get you some. All right, so we got our rice. We got our yum, yum sauce. Now let's talk about the ingredients. What we're gonna put in this dish. I got about a, this is about two chicken breasts that I have diced up, you know, just in manageable pieces. We like our chicken a little bit smaller than most. My kids, that way I don't have to cut it up. And then same with the beef. This is actually some New York strip had in the freezer. And yeah, cube those up, nice little pieces. I got some broccoli and I got some mushrooms as well. Kind of what they do, you know, at the Japanese restaurant. For the fried rice, just going vegetable fried rice. Got some red bell pepper, some onions, and some the whites from the green onions. We want to make it pretty, y'all. We want to make it pretty for Aunt Janice to come over and say, oh my gosh, that's so pretty, Matthew. Thank you, Aunt Janice. I appreciate that. Y'all, that's it. Let's get cooking. First things first, we're gonna get it started on the fried rice. That takes the longest, and we're gonna end with the meat, all right? First thing we're gonna do, right along here, 
We're gonna get our vegetables started for our fried rice. Just gonna come here, our red peppers, our onions, and our green onions, all in the mix. I thought it was a catastrophe at first, y'all. I thought I lost my MSG. More on that later. So our onions, our peppers, all that kind of good jazz, nice and soft. This is just like you want it right here. Okay, we're gonna put our rice right here too. You want liberal amounts of oil. Just two cups of rice. And we're just going to flip, put it right there. And for right now, we're just gonna kind of let it chill. I'm gonna put these on here just to let it ride on its back a little bit so it don't cook anymore. But we want this rice just to kind of set on the top for a little bit, it kind of gets crispy, okay? Now, put a little bit of butter on there. After a few minutes, we're just gonna to try to break this up a little bit. You can see it's got a little bit of browning on there. It's exactly what you want. Our rice is looking good. It's nice and dry, just like we fixed it. I like to take a little bit of garlic powder to my rice, just like that, and a little bit of MSG. That's the key to fried rice. Some people's gonna be in the comments and be like, you can't cook if you use MSG. I'm sorry. Now, a little soy sauce. Just like that. That's pretty much it to the fried rice. Now, we're gonna taste this later on. But for right now, this is done. And we're just gonna move this right over here. Now we have room for our proteins. And this right here stays warm. So it don't get cold. So add a little avocado oil. Avocado oil is a nice high temp oil. Uh, I like to use it, especially when uh, cooking things on high temp. Uh, you want your griddle temp up really high. You want it smoking. And instead of soy sauce, what I'm gonna put on the chicken, I'm gonna put some teriyaki sauce. Look down in the below in the description for the recipe for the teriyaki sauce. It is good groceries. I want to put the mushrooms down for our steak. And for our chicken, we're going to do broccoli. These Blackstone pans, pretty cool. A little bit of butter for our mushrooms, butter for our broccoli. This is one of my most favorite dishes right here off the Blackstone. I got the eggs, two eggs. I always wait till the last to do them anyway. The mushrooms, they're looking good. So I'm gonna put those to the front. Broccoli, same thing. I'm gonna put those to the front. Chicken. When you put your chicken down, you just wanna give it some time to kind of get some, get some char on it, okay? To get some good flavor, good browning, good Maillard reaction. Give it a flip. And do the same thing. And you do want, you want to have all your mise en place. You want to have it all ready, everything ready, except for me where I, you know, had to go take a walk of shame to go get my eggs, but that's okay. You're going to forget something every now and again. So we're not really going to season this up. Our teriyaki sauce has a lot of flavor in it already. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, how would you like your steak cooked? Medium rare, medium rare. You? Medium, medium, okay. You, well done. Mm. Nope. All right. Chicken's looking beautiful. Y'all, this is gonna be some good groceries. I can't wait. Our steak is pretty much done. I'm gonna come here, gonna put our mushrooms in it. You can add whatever you like. I do mushrooms, that's what they do at our place near us. Soy sauce. Liberal amount of soy sauce. I also like to do a little bit of butter. Kind of makes it rich. Makes it like a saucy, real rich sauce. Beautiful. All right, let's get this off. Get a nice big platter. I like to serve this all in one platter. You have your rice, chicken, steak. Oh boy. Look at that. Look at that. All right, chicken.
little broccoli over here. Now, a little bit of teriyaki. I like to add a little bit of soy too, just a little bit more. Check that out right there. And now that's done. I'm gonna take chicken. All right, now we gotta get our fried rice finished. And it is looking beautiful. Got a nice crunch to it. That bottom has gotten a little crispy, which I'm a fan of. So there we go. Now we gotta get our egg. So a little bit more oil down, a little bit of butter. I'm gonna to attempt to do a trick for you. I've done it before. I don't know if I can do it again. Let's see. So it is come in here and they, they just kind of twirl it around just like this, just like that. They go, ha ya ya, and then it go, ha ya. There we go. All right, one more time. You ready? And then it didn't bust, but I hit it. Ready? We'll just crack it. If I did it every day of my life, you know, I might be better at it. I don't know. We'll see. Come in here. Now you put it in your fried rice. Just like this. Vegetable fried rice is done. Let's get our plate. Boy, look at that. That is a pile of groceries. All right, now it's time to sample the fruits of our labor, which is the best part of this job. So I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna do a little bit of this steak. I'm gonna do a little bit of this here, fried rice. Whew. I love fried rice. I'm gonna do a little bit of this chicken and broccoli. Man, oh man. And let's give it a try. We still got our yum yum sauce. I'm gonna give this a try, then I'm gonna do the yum yum sauce. I know what you're thinking. Fried rice first. Mm. Perfect. Just perfect. I get a little crispy on the bottom. That crisp that we it sat over here for a while, perfectly fine with me. Love it like that. Soy sauce just kind of has this flavor, takes on this flavor, especially whenever it gets on the griddle, gets kind of gets kind of warmish. Is that really it? I don't know, but it's good. Mm. I can eat that fried rice all day. Steak, mm. nice and tender. That's what you're looking for. Mm. Now, our chicken. The chicken's good, the teriyaki's right. Let's do what everybody does in my neck of the woods with the yum yum sauce and they just put it on everything. Put it on everything. They'd be over there putting it on the dang flip flop. It's like their ranch dressing. Let's give it a try. <laughs> I like it, <laughs> dang. Steak, mm. all day. Y'all, there you have it. Hibachi, teppanyaki, whatever you want to call it. In my neck of the woods, they call it Hibachi Grill, Japanese Steakhouse. I call it good groceries. Y'all, hey, there'll be a video right here. Be sure to check it out. It will be sure to up your griddle game, I guarantee it. So stinking good.